Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. And I thought I'd do a little video for Easter. I have um, some paper towels that have gotten some sort of pastel colors on them. Kind of reminded me of coloring Easter eggs. Um, didn't want to really do Easter eggs, so I figured I'd do a few ATCs with these paper towels. Um, here I'm trying to get them to stick. I had to put a lot more uh, matte medium on there to get that paper towel. They are kind of thick paper towels. Get that to stick down really good. And I'm only doing four of them. And I sped this up so it wouldn't take very long. And I just really liked the splattered colors on there. And of course this was inspired by another video I saw from another artist and I can't remember her name. Um, if I remember I will put a link in the description box below so you can go see hers. Um, hers are done with baby wipes that have paint on them. That one just doesn't want to stick, so we're getting even more gel medium on that one. These things up, end up really thick in the end. <laughs> Lots of coatings on there. I didn't want a lot of white, so I picked out the best parts of this the rest of this paper towel for this fourth ATC card. Get my color on there. And once that's done, I wait for those to dry. And then um, while they're drying, I am going to make paper dolls. Have you ever made those little, you fold up the Things you make a chain of paper dolls. Never made one quite this small, and it's been a really long time. I don't know, something that came to my head. That one's too big, so we start over. Um, something came in my head, and I just wanted to make these little paper chain dolls. So they're going on these ATCs. I was trying to make a girl with hair rather than just a round head. <laughs> so there we go. Four in a row. And then I do one for each of the cards. Now here I'm using molding paste through a small stencil and just to give more texture. And the color will rise up through those through that molding paste. Um, if I wanted it to be white, I could have put some white acrylic paint in there. Um, but I figured I'd just see what happened. White probably would have been good. A little bit of a contrast, but oh well. I've got my white paper dolls, right? Now, this part cut out, sorry. Um, I mixed some gel glazing medium with um, some just, it's called True Blue craft paint and did a glaze over them and then now I'm rubbing it off with a baby wipe so we get some color and some darker colors and you still have the paper towel colors in the background and now we'll stick on our paper dolls. And I tried to make them all look a little bit different. And 
and my surface is really bumpy so I just have to put a lot of matte medium on there to hold them down. I'm trying to put them in the smoother area of the card, but trying to have a little bit of variety. I'm not getting a lot of variety, but a little bit. And I just do a quick coat of the matte medium across all of these. Because I used the glazing, it was like a, uh, a gloss glazing medium. I wanted them all to be the same, not half shiny, half dull. So. And this is um, High Flow Golden Acrylics in Fluorescent Pink. And I'm just spritzing it, putting it on there and spritzing it a little bit with water to get it to really run and then trying to blot it off the white areas. Doesn't all come off but uh, I don't know I just thought the pink would be fun. Add a little different color. and just watching it flow around the bumps and the texture that's on there. I think those girls end up the most pink of all. <laughs> At least it's the girls and not the boys. <laughs> some of those are boys and some are girls. In case you can't tell. Alrighty, so once they're dry, um, I use just my um, archival stamp pad. This one is a gray, but it looks pretty dark, so um, I'm rubbing it around the edges, and then I do brush a little bit over the top just to catch some of the texture, but I'm trying not to get it on the white paper dolls. But I do want some nice black around the edges. And then I tried looking for words in magazines, and I'm just not good with that, so I um, wrote some words. Um, it was part of a scripture. I figured scripture is good for Easter. Um, and I just took words out of the scripture and wrote them on here. And I tried with the glue stick. It wasn't enough for that texture and that glossy finish, so now I'm using gel medium. To glue those down, put it on pretty thick. And I did wait for them to dry, but not long enough. They were still um, pretty thick, so um, don't do this. Wait, be patient, wait for it to dry. Um, you'll ruin your your pen. You can see me over there trying to get it to work again after going around and drawing the lines around the words. <laughs> but there we go. Four little ATCs for Easter. Um, hope you like that. I hope you're having a good Easter. And we will see you soon. 
Thanks for watching.